welcome back for another random adventure in Costa Rica. In this video, we're at the Poas Volcano National Park. Now, even though this is still an active volcano, we were allowed to be a little bit closer. It did involve a little bit of a hike. And a funny story is that even after reaching the viewing platform, I wasn't sure if this was the right place to be viewing it. So me and some other people, we kept going down the path turns out that the path just has two entrances and we almost overshot the whole thing. So we ended up making the hike a little bit harder for us than we needed to. Now the interesting thing about this volcano is that it actually has two craters. So I guess it's still technically one volcano somehow but with two craters. But each one is kind of different. When you arrive at the main entrance, there's one that's just right there to look at. But at the time, the weather wasn't cooperating, so our guide suggested we go on the hike and go to the other one. Because here, the weather changes very rapidly, like in 10 minutes, it can change from very cloudy to very clear. And each crater has a lake in it. And so we went on the hike and we went to the viewing platform to see the one that's a little bit higher in elevation and generally has a clearer view most of the time. So when you arrive at the viewing platform, it looks like you're just looking at a lake. But that's the volcano, it's just it's been filled in with water. You can see it's a lot closer than in the Arenal volcano. But I don't think you'd want to go swimming in this lake because of the acids and other volcanic chemicals that are in there. But it is very pretty. The water looks very clean and pristine, even though it's probably not safe to actually go swimming in it. And the platform area was really nice because it had multiple levels to check out the volcano. So after hiking in the wrong direction for a little while, we decided to turn back and actually go back to the main entrance. And at the main entrance is the other crater. Now the weather at first was still not cooperating, so it's very foggy. But an interesting detail that we got to explore while waiting for the fog to clear were the shelters. Because the volcano technically is still active and there is a potential of it either off-gassing or exploding in some way. So they have these shelters where you're just supposed to hop into if anything happens. So I kept trying to film the other crater. And at first, as you can see, it's just really nothing on the screen to see. Maybe if you look very closely, you can kind of see the outline of the water. But like I said, the weather changes very rapidly here. So it, little by little, it became a little bit clearer. You can see a little bit more of the water that's in the crater. Then you finally start to get a decent shot where you can finally see the water, but it's still very overcast. But then rapidly, in minutes, it just all clears up and you can see the crater here. It's a little bit easier to tell that you're looking at a volcano and not just a lake, especially in this wider shot. You can also tell that this volcano has been more active recently because all the vegetation is gone around the rim. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you'll join me in the next random adventure in Costa Rica. Take care. <laughs>